hey guys what's up so let's get into the tutorial so first off I'm just going to be doing my eyebrows with my classic eyebrow pencil in the shade brown so I'm just going to use that to quickly carve up my brows or to line my brows and I'm going to be cleaning up my brows the bottom with my Elegal Pro Concealer in Fawn and the top part with my Milani Foundation in Golden Toffee. So now once I'm done um, cleaning up my brows and carving them out, I'm just going to prime my eyelids and take away any discoloration using my Elegal Pro Concealer in Fawn. Once I've finished spreading and distributing that product, I'm just going to set my eyelid with my face powder. This is the Iman uh, Illuminating Powder. Once I'm done setting my eyelids, I'm just going to go into my first transition color, which is my Maroon Matte from Star Crushed Mineral. I'm just going to apply that all over my crease area. Then I'm going to further blend it out with my um, Brown Script from MAC. Once I'm done blending these two colors together on the crease and on the outer V, I'm just going to go into Embark from my MAC palette. It's a brown, brown eyeshadow and I'm going to just concentrate that on the crease line just to deepen the crease line and the outer V. Be sure to always blend them then any color you add make sure you blend each color together so now i'm just going to take my elegal pro concealer in fawn i'm going to use that to cut out my crease i'm going for a half cut crease not a full cut crease today so i'm just going to cut out my crease and then i'm going to um, set it with powder and I'm going to apply my first color so now I'm just going to go in into my first lid color which is a MAC eyeshadow called Paradisco it's like a shimmery um, peachy color so I'm just going to apply that on my the outer portion of the cut crease and leaving the inner portion for a different shape. So once I'm done applying that um, Paradisco color, I'm just going to go into my Estee Lauder eyeshadow, um, intense eyeshadow palette. And I'm taking this first shade right here, and I'm going to be applying that to the inner portions of my eyelid, blending the two eyeshadows together so there are no harsh lines. So once the two colors are blended together and I'm satisfied, I'm going into Carbon from my MAC palette still and I'm just going to apply that on the outer portions of my outer V, blending it into the Paradisco color. I'm going back and forth with each color, the black, the Paradisco, just to make sure that both um, colors transition into each other. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to go into my Black Radiance Eyeliner and I'm going for a really big thick wing because I want to smudge out the tail end of the wing into the black portion of the eyeshadow so it's really dark and smoky. I'm also, as I'm transitioning the color, I'm going to be adding the um, black eyeshadow, the carbon eyeshadow from MAC just to make it really dark and smoky. So now once I'm done with that, I'm going into my glitter. This is my NYX glitter in, I've forgotten the name, but it's a, a really, it's like a holographic glitter. It has like green and specks of white so and blue. So I'm just going to apply that all over the lid space and the eye look is done. Okay guys, so both eyes are done. So now for the face, I'm going to be going into my Clean and Clear Morning Burst Moisturizer. I'm just going to moisturize my face. Then to mattify my face and prime my face, I'm going into my Pond's Vanishing Cream, just mainly on my T-zone area. Once I'm done applying that Vanishing Cream, I'm going to highlight first with my Elegal Pro Concealer in Fawn. I'm really starting to enjoy this like technique of highlighting before actually applying foundation because I just feel like it's 
it blends better it blends a lot better for me so yeah so to uh, wet my Nuban Beauty sponge I'm just going into the Nuban Beauty fix it setting spray I'm going to spray it on my sponge then I'm just going to blend out the concealer that I've applied on my face once I'm done blending out that concealer on under my eye the bridge of my nose my chin I'm then going to go into my foundation for my foundation today I'm using the Milani conceal and perfect foundation in the shade golden toffee so I'm just going to apply that on my face and set So once I'm done applying the foundation, I'm just going to go back into my Nuban Beauty sponge just to make sure that the foundation is evenly distributed on my face. Once that is done, I'm going to set under my eye with my powder mix and yeah, so once I finish with that, I'm going to set the rest of my face with my MAC Studio Fix in NC46 and I will go ahead and contour after that. <laughs> of my forehead so once I'm done um, contouring my face I'm just going to set and lock all my makeup in with my Nuban Beauty Silly Spray if you haven't seen my review about this spray just go back click to I'm going to put insert a card up so you can always click on the card to get or to see my reviews about this Nuban Beauty Spray so once I'm done with that, I'm going back into the eye. So for the first one, I'm going to be applying my Estee Lauder Kajal Pencil in the shade Black and Black. Once I'm done applying that on my waterline and just below my waterline, I'm going to take um, Carbon Eyeshadow and just smudge, start to smudge out the black eyeliner. Then to further smoke out the eyeliner, I'm going into Embark, the brown eyeshadow from MAC and just further smoke out the waterline area. So for my highlights, I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk highlighter in the shade Bronze Goddess. I didn't really want anything to loud, so yeah, that's why I'm going for this highlight. So I'm just going to apply that chin bridge of my nose cupid's bow cheeks and uh, yeah <laughs> packing my hair today so yep my wig is on so now onto the lips I'm going to be going into this house of Tara lip pencil in the shade a berry so um, I wanted to do like an orange lip so but I didn't have any orange lipstick so I decided to use this pencil as my lipstick today and it's a gorgeous gorgeous color so I'm just going to apply that all over my lips then going into my Jordana lip pencil in brown suede I'm just going to use that to just outline my lips so it's the color is not so um, so harsh on my against my skin tone so just for that glossy feel I'm going into my sleek spot paint in the shade lava so I'm just going to apply that on my lips and the look is done all right guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this look uh, it's 
in my own case, I would consider it a very nice, very simple look. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to also share this video. I would greatly appreciate it. And turn on the notification bell button so you don't miss an upload from me. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.